Easiest way to create an NFT and sell it in 2023. NFTs or non-fungible tokens have recently seen a revolution in the field of digital art. The attention of both creative individuals and investors has been drawn to these distinctive digital assets. Although the idea of NFTs may be intimidating to some, making and selling an NFT can be a simple procedure. This comprehensive tutorial will examine the simplest way to produce an NFT and sell it in 2023, offering detailed instructions and insightful advice for both novice and experienced designers. Welcome to our channel. Before starting our discussion, there is a small reminder if this is the information you are really interested in, don't forget to subscribe for notifications in any newly uploaded video, and be till the end of the video so that you don't miss any important information. Now, let's continue. It's entirely acceptable if you don't know a lot about NFTs or how to make them and aren't an expert in those areas. Because I'm going to cover all you need to know in this instructional video to start making income with your personal NFTs right away. Many people earn millions of dollars every year merely by selling their own NFTs, and perhaps some of you around are artists themselves. 1. Choose a marketplace. Choosing a platform is the first step towards marketing an NFT. There are a number of choices, including direct-to-consumer, which is shortly known as D2 Coulomb's platforms like Shopify as well as online marketplaces such as OpenSea. The decision is typically based on the kind of NFT you're selling and the costs associated with trading the digital currency. The most common NFT exchange used by most individuals to create and sell NFTs is OpenSea, which is also, in my opinion, one of the simplest marketplaces to configure. The largest online marketplace in the world for purchasing and selling NFTs, including cryptographic artwork, virtual goods, and rare digital artifacts, is called OpenSea. Many individuals purchase all of these overemphasized NFTs, such as board dapes as well as crypto punks, at OpenSea. 2. Knowing Ascension Information Second action when starting out, there are a few important things to understand. The first thing to keep in mind is that many of these websites, like OpenSea for instance, promote the idea that everything will be free and there is no need to worry. However, in the actual world, things are more complicated because of something known as crypto gas. So what exactly is crypto gas? When you list your NFT on Ethereum, for instance, you must pay gas so that your NFT and crypto wallet may be associated on the blockchain. To put it simply, you might think of it as similar to a transaction charge. Accordingly, this is typically a one-time fee which costs between $50 and $300. However, you should be allowed to advertise as many NFTs as you like after paying that one-time charge. The second thing you should know is that services like OpenSea often charge 2.5% each time you sell your NFT to a third party. However, you should also be aware of the fact that you may set royalties up to 10%, so if you are interested in making a profit when others sell your NFT, you can obtain that 10%. Consequently, the artist continues to receive significant passive income. 3. Establish a crypto wallet. Your moves forward from selling your NFTs will be kept in a crypto wallet, which is essentially the place where you can keep your crypto assets like Ethereum. There are a few different cryptocurrency wallets that individuals are able to utilize, including Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, Portis, and Fortmatic. But the one I suggest is called MetaMask and it's the most well-liked cryptocurrency wallet for OpenSea, one of the industry's trusted veterans as well. So, how do you make a wallet? MetaMask just requires downloading the MetaMask app from the App Store on your mobile device. Alternatively, you might simply add the extension to your browser, making the process of creating an account there all that is required. Furthermore, you should be aware that MetaMask will generate 12 random words for your benefit when you sign ready for a crypto wallet. In case you forget your password, you'll want for writing down your private keys or secret recovery phrase. In actuality, not even MetaMask can assist you if you forget your password and have forgotten your secret recovery phrase as well those 12 words. You may write this on a piece of paper and save it somewhere safe and accessible. 4. Connect the wallet. In Chrome, Firefox, or really any browser, you should first set up an account on OpenSea. It's very simple, and all you have to do is visit the website, select Profile, and then click MetaMask. As you observe, there are also additional alternatives that you could select. When you need to log in, it'll actually direct you to the MetaMask page. Additionally, you might link your wallet by navigating to the MetaMask app on your phone along with selecting the Browsers tab. You basically need to access your cryptocurrency wallet now. 
All you have to do is perform a search on OpenSea, IO, after which you may connect your wallet. Both these ways will work effectively. 5. Designing our NFTs. This is where you have the ability to consider the designs and messages that you wish to convey through your NFTs. If you already possess some physical or digital art that you've created in the past, you might want to think about using those images. However, you can also do this using Photoshop and begin developing NFTs. Some of the people I know have even tried using freelance websites like Fiverr or other websites to hire someone else to make these images of your NFT. Therefore, this step should be where you employ your creativity. I also strongly advise considering the NFT's vision and the target market you're attempting to reach. But keep in mind, friends, that NFTs aren't just for photos, alright? You could also upload a movie, and you may even post your own music. 6. Uploading the NFTs. All you have to do to accomplish this is visit your account page and select My Collections from the drop-down menu. There will be a menu item when you click My Collections that will take you to the Create a Collection button. You will then be prompted to upload your logo, prominent picture, banner image, the name of your NFT, the URL of your website if you happen to have one, a description, as well as the category in which you want to place your NFT. This uploading method should be simple because it can be music, photography, sports trading cards, art collectibles, or utility. Once you've done that, you want to enter the creator earnings, which are essentially the royalties we previously discussed, which you are eligible to receive each time another person resells your NFT. Ensure that you provide your wallet location, which you will discover on MetaMask in this field. Then you only need to select Ethereum as the blockchain you'll be using, and click Create so that your NFT is now recorded on the blockchain. 7. Selling the NFTs The last step is to sell your NFT. As one can see, you can do this by simply pressing the sale button and setting a preset price or a scheduled auction. Take a choice if you wish to sell your NFT for a set price, or simply add your NFT's pricing and the number of days you would like the posting to be available to establish an on-sale listing. Obviously, one needs to be aware of the fact that marketing is quite important in the NFT space if you want to succeed in the OpenSea market. Because of this, many people use influencers to sell their NFTs or attempt to make their NFTs as distinctive as possible in the hopes that they will go viral. Guys, that brings us to the end of this interesting video. Thanks for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.